Good morning, folks. You're seeing a new sunspot group crackling with small solar flares next to a sizable plasma filament. We've got the sun, weather, and five top stories today, so let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star with a new sunspot group just ahead of the previous one, crackling and bursting already at small scale. The solar flares have only pushed up into B-class range, but they do represent yet another uptick in activity here towards the latter portion of the sunspot minimum. The spot appeared as the previous one had begun to spread and decay. It surged to life and began spreading at a very high joy tilt angle, and when we pulled the magnetic viewing, we find the left side, older spot, spread and segregated, while at the right side, we've got polarities trying to mix close together, which is why it's the one flaring. Solar wind here. It's very, very minor, but this is the quintessential coronal hole stream signature. Right out of the textbook, while CMEs hit and change the telemetry all at once, a coronal hole stream will lead with a density shock, and then the faster and hotter plasma follows them. By the way, this weak stream, which didn't crack 450 kilometers per second, has likewise produced only minor changes in the KP index. More coronal holes are facing Earth and turning in, but they are small. It's that new sunspot we're watching closely today. By the way, that textbook is Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, most active elective courses this semester report being around Chapter 5 or 6 right now, but the space weather information you need to understand the sun is all in Chapter 1, only at otf.cells.com. On to the weather. This was the scene in China as half-inch to nearly two-inch hail battered a southern province for nearly 25 straight minutes. The roof damage is reported as unthinkable and unprecedented, and amazingly, nobody got seriously injured. Let's go next out to the galactic disk for the first of five top stories today. A star is flying through space, so fast it is set to escape the Milky Way. From where did it get such velocity? A nova. The story here is that a nova occurred off-center and blasted the star out of its settled zone and on an ejection pathway. The star is leaving a trail of material behind it, pointing back to where it's from, and now they are using Fermi and VLT to enhance the Canadian Galactic Survey photo and reveal a number of objects and a much better resolved culprit for the bubble it has now already escaped. Very interesting look at how carbon monoxide spectroscopy may be the easiest way to detect exolife in the cosmos. It has been long thought to be a death sentence for a planet, but that might no longer be the case, especially when you look at our planet. Up next, we have a brand new theory on staggered star formation epochs in the early cosmos. It's an interesting theory, but the real thing of interest is the theory is needed to explain an unmodelable amount of dust, which veteran observers will recall is able to hide electric current and itself, as was the case here before this study. It is a huge part of the eventual debunking of dark matter. And speaking of which, story number four today hits the Dama signal. Three major studies have tried to confirm the Italian detector's marks and nobody has hit it dead on, with two of the studies showing fairly contradictory results. And today's top story, humans can sense and react to Earth's magnetic field. Well known in both vertebrates and invertebrates, it is now not only confirmed to interact in the alpha brainwave frequencies and to affect sensory and cognition function, but to have nothing to do with cryptochromes, its ferromagnetism instead. I wonder how that plays out when the field reverses. We greatly appreciate your support. That textbook is one of the best ways to support the cause, again at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.